Hey everyone, so some important updates today. Hope you're all doing well and fine because we do have a breakthrough. We just reached 550,000 holders. Now, obviously, this is most likely going to be about 1 million after Shiba Swap. And most definitely, I'm almost 100% we're going to be reaching 1 million by the end of the year. Be sure to watch this video until the end and drop a like. Thank you so much for dropping a like. From what I can see here, this increased by over 2,000 holders in one day. So we're getting 5,000 to 2,000 new holders each single day. And it's only going to be more and more than that. Again, I'm shocked how many diamond hands here. And as the market is falling, you know, usually through the days uh, we saw this. Only Shiba is growing. And why exactly is Shiba growing while Bitcoin is falling? Well... It's really important to know here that Shiba Inu has much more potential than most of these coins here. Now, Ethereum has a lot of potential, but Shiba Inu could definitely grow and outpace Internet Commuter, Tida, maybe even Polygon. And as we reach closer and closer to Dogecoin, Shiba Inu has a lot of potential, a lot of updates, and that's what's causing its price to increase. As it got listed on Coinbase, and it is going to be listed on many more exchanges, it gives gives much more credibility to Shiba Inu and it has so many more things to do because it's just only two months in. I think that's just the start in 2022 we should be seeing some serious growth getting closer and closer to the you know to the number one spot obviously Bitcoin gonna be dominating there for a long time but as Bitcoin drops all other cryptocurrency drops in the same way. So if we check here maybe we're going to be seeing billions of users adopting Bitcoin, but it's going to take time. And that's the but, but. Bitcoin standard a lot. Like, what does that evolution look like as fiat currency kind of becomes less and less in the years ahead? Yeah, so the Bitcoin standard is essentially, that's a book written by Saifedean, but the Bitcoin standard or hyper-Bitcoinization refers to a moment when Bitcoin is the world reserve currency. I think Bitcoin has a good chance of achieving that which means that Bitcoin is the store value, so your store value in it. So it could potentially replace gold. Well, while it wouldn't kind of replace dollar, it could replace gold. And that's definitely a possibility. Medium of exchange and unit of account. Those two parameters describe modern fiat money. Grocery store, prices are on the local, local government currency, and that's what you use to transact. Bitcoin in its final stages should eat into those categories too, to where it just becomes a ubiquitous money that everyone uses. So where this is where Bitcoin's adopted in the billions of users. So you know, I think we're all way, uh, uh, like at least like 10 years away from that. Sure. But I think it's just going to be uh, that, that's what we call like the Bitcoin standard hyper Bitcoinization. So if we got to wait 10 years for Bitcoin to actually explode and reach a billion users, I don't think that's a long time frame for a lot of users. 10 years is a lot. But let me tell you here. In the next years, as we're seeing, you know, El Salvador picking up Bitcoin, I think a lot of countries are going to be taking a slow process to actually make the big changes on accepting Bitcoin as the global reserve. It's this world where Bitcoin has won and it's what the, it's, you know, we don't have any national currencies anymore. It's just Bitcoin. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, so does that evolution really start on the retail side? So what we can see here is Bitcoin has a good chance of becoming the world's reserve currency, although we are at least 10 years away from that, said Dan Hell, Kraken's head of growth in an exclusive interview. And according to Hell, transition to hyper-Bitcoinization, a world where Bitcoin is adopted by billions of users. 10 years ago, this would sound like a dream. What would happen to Shiba Inu in 10 years? I definitely think it has much more potential then because decentralization at that time is uh, something that a lot of people are going to be looking into, especially with such big crackdowns we're seeing. It starts with the retail users, then retail investors, and finally governments getting involved. The permissionless nature of Bitcoin, it's money no one can control other than you, he pointed out. He said in developing countries, Bitcoin is mainly valuable for avoiding censorship, while in Western world, Bitcoin is attractive as a hedge against central banks. And a lot of people are going to be buying bits amount of Bitcoin because they don't like banks, you know? 
is central banks print money. And what we can see here is that we're going to be seeing some changes in the future for Shiba Inu, which is good. It's both good and bad. Bitcoin dollar plunge while S&P 500 rallies after US inflation hits three decade high. Data on Friday showed core personal consumption expenditure in the US surged to 3.42% year over year for the first time since 1991. So we can see here that Bitcoin is having some good news so far. Bitcoin and the US dollar fell in tandem while the S&P refreshed its record high at open on Friday. So stocks are growing as the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation indicators surged to its highest levels in almost three decades. So that's not gonna, good, gonna be good news, but the thing I love about Shiba Inu, the thing I love about Bitcoin, you cannot print any more of it. You cannot, you know, make up your mind if you just, you know, ran out of money. You cannot print more Bitcoin. You cannot make more. Maybe, yes, yeah, sure, you can mine it, but it's very hard to mine it and it will cost a lot of energy. Investors consider them as a safe beta havens as the Fed elected to hold interest rates near zero and maintain its 120 billion monthly asset purchase to the impact of coronavirus epidemic. So, we can see here SPX rose 95%, Bitcoin USD rose over 750% from its March 20 bottom. So all of these stocks, like we're seeing big inflation happening right now and just going through this market analysis, I wanted to go through the briefs. He, they said that demand for the dollar among corporate and retail investors would remain weaker against the prospects of higher inflation. Instead, they would rather hedge in assets with lower depreciation potential. So um, dollar not looking so good. But while Bitcoin has won the argument as a stable asset in this regard, its currently collapsing price will favor gold much more at such time as this. And as such, investors may favor the latter than the former. And what do you think of this? Well, I think that's just short term news. So when you talk about this, you know, gold actually being stronger than Bitcoin, it's only for this year. The price impact of these inflation figures on the asset classes will be more visible to the days and weeks ahead. So uh, we can see that Je President Biden actually, you know, announced support for one trillion. Bitcoin dips also as investors focus shifted towards the Wall Street equity markets following President Joe Biden's latest stimulus deal worth one trillion. The S&P 500 indices surged 0.27 percent to an all-time high of 4,280, and we can see that the stock market is growing. Now, what's going to happen with Bitcoin? Bitcoin is always going to be uh, around here. The Federal Open Market Committee's latest set of economic projections took a hawkish turn as it suggested dual rates hike in 2023. As a result, Bitcoin turned lower on the news. So it's lower on the news, but that's not a bad thing. Now we know why it's lower. Uh, I don't think this is FUD. I think, you know, Bitcoin is definitely going to go back. But as you see, you know, Bitcoin dropping because, you know, sometimes stocks are bigger and we are made unsure as to exactly what will happen to inflation over the coming five years. And that's when Bitcoin actually steps ahead. So if Bitcoin gets 1 billion users by the research I did, what will happen with Shiba Inu? So obviously I'm talking about Bitcoin a lot on my videos. And that is very simply put, we mostly rely on Bitcoin's price growth. Now, no Noted Coin shares a digital asset management firm in a report published June 21. But we see adding Bitcoin and other real assets as a prudent measure to protect portfolios from the tail risk of out control inflation. I believe a recovery to 40,000 is the goal, while investors look toward breaking the previous at the highest of 64,000 in the mid to long term. So we got to get back to it at its highest if we want to sh uh, get Shiba Inu to one cent. That's, uh, you know, a non conditional. Back to 100K, Shiba Inu one cent. Shiba Swap, okay, all good. But if we get on that, I think that's pretty exciting to see market wrap bitcoin declines into the weekend as volatile month continues and we can see further downside is likely as sellers react to extreme overbought conditions since march so is it over no i don't think it's over i think shiba inu is going to be around forever i don't think it's going to be dropping as you know below rank 100 i think it's going to be around here for for some time obviously the stock market growing gold is growing you know this is a lot for gold 0.22 percent might not seem a lot for crypto but uh, for, you know, 10-year treasury yield closed at 1.5%, we can see that uh, over the short term, Bitcoin remains in consolation pays between 30 and 40K. 
Often, trading ranges can be difficult to navigate for some traders. Chinese market participants have been massively selling the past month alongside the grayscale unlocking schedule, leading to more pressure. So if you don't know what the scale grayscale unlocking is, it's basically in July, we're going to be seeing a lot of Bitcoin being unlocked. So this could either lead to more things. This could either lead to, you know, Bitcoin being sold off. That's one. Or it could lead to users buying with Bitcoin, which is also a possibility. I think a lot of them will be selling out, but a lot of them will also be buying cryptocurrencies because now they'll have a lot of Bitcoin. But with newcomers in the crypto market seeing their profit and capital getting wiped out by selling waves, newcomers are taking their losses as they can't stomach this negative volatility anymore. And whoever is a newcomer probably bought at its highest and now, you know, sold at a big dip. So they're losing money. And that's the terrible thing. I do not... And this is not financial advice. I do not recommend you selling your Shiba Inu right now, especially as we're, you know, seeing the long-term effects of swap happening. Wall Street will have to see a couple more inflation and labor reports be better having understanding on what the Federal Reserve will taper and be poised to raise interest. And institutions actually do embrace crypto, which is big news. Despite short-term swings, institutions are gradually warming to the cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin trading volumes on the LMAX digital spot exchange have surged over the past year and that's really exciting news so institutions are going in for bitcoin now so the big rich institutions only get richer so the report also mentioned that roughly 70 percent of the 70 10 institutional investors surveyed by almax funnel and banks to be more significant contributors to training volume in the next three years so next three years are going to be huge for shiba inu yes it's going to take some time but i think that's what's going to seriously increase the price however several gaps remaining which could slow the pace of widespread institutional adoption access to banking has been particularly highlighted by brokers and you know there's a lot of things to see here hash rate is declining so that's how much you know bitcoin blocks are being mined the fast transactions and that's because what we're seeing here we boost suspense owned by crypto accounts owned by crypto influencers and we can see you know this drops even more it decreases and now we're at the low PBOP orders cut off and funding channels for crypto. So we're seeing a very big drop off. And I think, again, this is only a temporary one. We have uh, 100 EHs a second, the lowest level since June 2020. And according to data from Glassnode, and we could be seeing a lot of big changes. So... Chinese miners have been looking for hosting sites for potential migration. We're seeing a ton of inbound requests from China-based mining companies that are looking to relocate to North America and are looking to do it urgently. CEO of crypto mining co-location company Compute North told Coindesk. And uh, we can see high gas fees have played Ethereum off and on for months. And for so, there has been a boom in funding and uptake around layer two solutions such as Polygon or Brave2 and Optimism. And Opera, a privacy based uh, that has a history of incorporating crypto features, is incorporating its first stable coins, introducing Celadora. So, you know, big big websites and a lot of big institutions are still coming into crypto and i don't think it's over i think this is just the beginning of something big now just looking at this i think there's you know a lot of investors and we're seeing investors buying into shiba inu right now and i definitely do think this is very good news we still have those investors that are extremely rich and as long as they're holding through this dip i'm not gonna be selling my coins look at this people are not afraid and they're holding 112 million tokens right now. Are you insane? 112 million tokens. These people are insanely rich and being the top holders for Shiba Inu coin, they're still not selling. Imagine holding 15 million in cryptocurrency, being one of the richest people, and maybe these people will be the next billionaires. This 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 guy is definitely going to be the next billionaire. Just as Shiba goes up, you know, by 100%, He's going to easily double his profit. And that's because everyone trusts into the Shiba Inu growth. We can see here India Crypto Relief Fund actually needs to be sold off from what I'm seeing so far. And it's going, you know, it's slowly but surely it's getting sold off from what I'm seeing. So in the future, we're going to be seeing a lot of different uh, growth, periods of growth for Shiba Inu. And that's what I'm really excited about. Even with a price dropping, I, I don't want to spread any FUD here. I don't think you should be concerned because if you're a new investors, we're going to be here for a long run. So be sure to drop a like and see you until next time. Peace, everyone.